Hello everyone and welcome back to another Minecraft video and look we are back on the Half Sun server it has been a minute since I have uploaded a video from the Half Sun server and yeah I was taking a little bit of a break to work on some other projects but I thought I would get on today and make a little video as I've got a few things I want to get done um if I come down here I did notice there was something that looks like a gift from Hellatio um which is <laughs> loads of stone to build my castle that isn't currently there. Um, all the other boxes that were here from Doom I have moved into this little room back here to house my stone collection. Um, there's also this um, wars coming. Um, what have I done to deserve war? Help. But no, I think this is, this is also from this is Doom and what did we have? Two ancient debris. Very nice, very nice. I do still rock the diamond armor and most of my tools are diamond as well. I have a couple of netherite pickaxes um, but yep, yeah, still rocking the diamond and at this point I think it's probably safe to say I won't be getting netherite armor before the end of the season. Um, so yeah, I'll store them in there for safekeeping for now. In other news on Half Sun, there is an election ongoing. As we did mention, I think, in the last episode, there is Lev, Corbo, and I believe CJ is still in the running, but I'm not 100% sure if he <laughs> um, if he's going to be participating. There has been this stage built up by Corbo, I believe, and this is going to be housing the debate for the election for the president of Half Sun, and yeah, we are yet to do that. I think it's probably going to happen pretty soon, so if it does, hopefully we'll catch it in today's episode and you'll find out later, I guess. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's what this area is all for. Other than that, there has just been a lot of buildings popping up around spawn. I think down here, Corbo actually set up a new little fishing village that's meant to be a bit of a different style to these guys. and. I really do like these ones, something about them just has a nice charm, so I like the use of the terracotta here and the hay bales on the roof. There's a nice little touch, a nice tower there as well, and a little diagonal boy at the end, looking pretty cool indeed. But the real reason I'm on today is actually to tackle this here because I did want to get this finished, at least the exterior and things before the end of the season. And yeah, it's probably not going to be too much longer, to be fair. And I still have a lot of work to do. So I think I want to, today, get at least like a skeleton frame of how I want the castle to be. So figure out the shape. I think I want it to come out kind of around about here. Have a couple of towers in the castle and one main roof section. But yeah, I'll build out, I think, the skeleton with some stone um, to get a sense of scale and size and... Roughly what it's going to take to get this built up and actually finished before <laughs> before the season ends and hopefully we can actually do that. I should have enough stone and materials thanks to Doom and Hellatio and some mining that I have done myself. So I'm going to sleep the night away and jump into a time lapse of me building up some frames and skeletons for my castle and well, I hope you enjoy.
and welcome back. We have now a structure <laughs> built up of some kind of frame of a castle, at least some kind of castle, castle shape, I think. Um, since the time lapse, I have added in these little pink or magenta sections to show or help me see. I should have done this more from the start using different colours and things so I can see different areas of the build here, like these towers are separate from the main build, I should have probably done those in some other colour, but yeah, in hindsight, it's done now, it is what it is, but we do have these little sections kind of coming off the castle, which is going to add a little bit more variety to it, and yeah, so obviously this part here being the main section with the two side bits at the back, if we can take a look here and here, it's going to be the main castle structure. And then obviously we have four towers going around. I may add some more of these buildings here that stick out and have their own smaller roof areas. Maybe on this larger roof for this section. Um, because I think it might just be a little bit too much of the same thing going on. But it's hard to tell until it is built up. So I think that's where I'm going to leave it for today anyway. And kind of have a think about exactly the design and things of the walls and the roofs and everything like that before we take it any further. I've also extended up these towers a little bit. I did play around with an arch but then the idea is to have tall ships coming in and out and the arch would have to be really really high for that to make sense so I might just leave it open and then this wall will come round and this will be like all raised up and a pathway to get into the main castle. And yeah, I think that's going to do it for this part of the build. It's given me the inspiration to actually get working on it. So yeah, hopefully we can get something, some more done with it in the next episode. But I actually do need to head over to CyberSun Games. Because in the last episode, we remember, we built up this mini game over here. And I did set up a little scoreboard for people to record the scores. And I do know some people have been trying it out. So let's have a look. I set a score of 235. Glacial come in with 405, DJ got 224, Dover with 84, Zams 159, who is actually a new member, I don't think we've actually seen him online, and then Doom with a 93, so pretty close there between Doom and Dover, and looks like a chicken has perished, okay, um, so the prize pool currently sitting at 19 diamond blocks, that's a pretty decent prize pool, and yeah, I think then what I might do is I might give the guys in the server one more week to come and try their hand at beating Dover's score of 84, which I must say is going to be pretty difficult. That is a really good score. Um, I'll let them know on the Discord that they have one more week to put a score up on the board. And then I think the prize will be given out. And unless someone really comes in with a flawless run, I don't see Dover being beaten anytime soon. So I think, yeah, maybe that'll be next episode that we announce the winner of that little minigame. But with that, guys, I think that's going to do it for today's episode. It was a little bit shorter and not as much going on as usual, but I have been working on a lot of projects at the moment. So getting the time to come on Half Sun and do some of the projects on here, I've put a little bit on the back burner just for now. So. Hope you forgive me um but if you do want to see more half sun content and videos more regularly like we did before then you can let me know down in the comments or leave the video a like that would be awesome and yeah i think over here at cyber sun i know doom is working on something to go here he was showing me that so that'll be pretty cool when that's done i know hellatio has been doing a lot more work over at the casino so it's good to see people still building and doing things over at our gaming area here that we've been working on. So with that guys, that's going to do it again. Thank you very much for watching and until the next one, bye bye.